On the 25th of February, a Tarco Airlines Boeing 737 Classic was en route from Khartoum International Airport to the Qatari capital of Doha. About 30 minutes into the flight, the flight crew realized that they weren't alone in the cockpit. Because out of its hiding came a big, feral cat. After what we have to presume is a catnap. The cat proceeded with attacking the flight crew and just behaving in a very random and aggressive way. The crew did several attempts to try to restrain the unwanted passengers, but to no avail, the cat was just too aggressive. So, in order to avoid a catastrophic event, the crew decided to make a U-turn and return back to the original airport of Khartoum. Now, Khartoum's Ekawa code is HSSS. The, um, the crew did a successful Cat 1 ILS approach, landed and taxied into gate where the authorities took care of the disruptive passenger. Now, it is unclear at this point if this is going to be categorized as a hijacking, um, but I have a feeling it won't. Now you might ask yourself, how can a cat possibly access the cockpit in that way and where could it possibly hide? Uh, there is an ongoing investigation about this, but it is likely that it happened during the night because the aircraft was in the hangar during the night with its doors open, undergoing some routine maintenance and cleaning. And this cat, who was a feral cat, so it wasn't a pet, probably managed to get up one of the steps and snuck into the cockpit. And behind the um, captain's seat, behind the circuit breaker panel, and under the jump seat, there's actually a quite big area where a cat could potentially hide. Now. Is this an isolated freak event? It actually turns out that another event was categorized the same. Back in 2004, a, uh, a Belgian carrier suffered a very similar incident when a um, pet cat called Jin escaped out of the holder that the owner had with it. You know, some airlines will allow you to, to take smaller animals into the cabin. Anyway, Jin jumped out of the holder, proceeded to walk through the cabin. And during an event where the cockpit door was open because the cabin crew was giving food to the pilots, the cat snuck into the cockpit and proceeded once again to attack the pilots. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what it is with cats and cockpits. But anyway, the pilots did took the same decision in that event as well to return back and land at Brussels airport where I presume that the owner and the authorities took care of the cat. In the same year, a Bangladeshi airline um, also had the same issue where a feral cat had managed to get into the cockpit. Um, it attacked the pilot once again. And, um, and in that case, the pilot decided just to continue to the destination, but at least one of the pilots needed to, to get first aid care when they, um, they got down onto the ground. And in fact, in the beginning of last month, on the 8th of February, we reported in mentorpilot.com, which by the way, I hope that you've bookmarked by now, that a, uh, a flight photographer was out walking around the airport in Tel Aviv and took a photo of the cockpit of an El Al Boeing 737-800 that had been in storage for two weeks. And when he zoomed in on the cockpit, he realized that the cockpit wasn't empty. There was actually a cat taking sun in the cockpit on the captain's side. The uh, authorities were being told to this. They went out and they managed to rescue the cat, but not before the cat had made the cockpit into its very own home. And it had used the, uh, the kind of furnishings inside of the cockpit to sharpen its claws, basically destroying all of the furnishings inside. It's very unlikely that the cat had actually been inside of the, uh, the cockpit for the full two weeks, given the fact that there's no food and no water inside of there. But when an aircraft is in storage, it has to be checked out on regular intervals, right? You have to go in and you have to start up certain systems and stuff in order for the aircraft to continue to be available once you want to start it up. I've done a separate video about that, by the way, which you can check out. And it is likely that this cat had kind of snuck up and, you know, at the point where the engineers might have been looking the other way. But this goes to show that we have to be careful with wildlife. And it also goes to show as a pointer to all of you guys out there who might want to travel with your pets in the cabin, that you have to check with your, the airline that you're going to travel with whether or not they actually accept pets in the cabin. Some airlines do, 
in which case there is going to be some very stringent procedures attached to it for obvious reasons and other airlines just do not take uh, any kind of animal in the, um, the cabin. There are generally some exceptions made for seeing eye dogs and things like that. But make sure that you have checked what applies to your airline before you start traveling with your pets. And that's it guys, I just thought that this was a really interesting story. If you have seen some stories that you want me to make a story about, well then contact me on either Twitter, Instagram, here on YouTube. Uh, or wherever you can find me. You can also send me an email on news at mentorpilot.com, which is our hotline. I hope that you have subscribed to the channel, and if not, do it. <laughs> Guys, before you go and see the uh, cataclysmic blooper rail that's coming at the very end of this video, I want to let you know about a new feature that we're doing on my Discord server. Now, if you haven't signed up to my free Discord server, you have a link up here and in the description below. And we started doing quiz nights, aviation trivia nights, all right? My uh, administrator, Jack, is great at doing these things. He's put together a huge question bank with aviation questions. And you'll get 30 to 35 questions, multiple choice. And the quicker you answer them, and the more correct you are, the higher score you'll get. And at the end of the quiz, there's going to be a high score, and you see where you're going to place yourself. I typically place very low in the field myself. <laughs> now, I want to send a huge congratulations to Naturally Herb, who won last week's challenge fantastic job and if you want to be, take part in this and maybe be the winner next week well then go and sign up to the discord server and i'll see you in there have an absolutely fantastic day and i'll see you next time bye bye uh Boeing 737 classic was en route from khartoum in international <laughs> On the 25th of February, a Tarco Airlines Boeing 737 Classic was en route from the International Airport of Khartoum. Kar the, the crew flew The crew flew a Cat 1, it might have happened during the night, where the, um, the. And in fact, and also, but this also serves as a reminder for you guys if you are. Tri if you are they tend to have a. Um, entered the uh,